Games Workshop's Basement, hosted by John Kurt. I command you, as King of the Britons, to stand aside. <laughs> now stand aside, worthy adversary. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. No, it isn't. Well, what's that, then? I've heard worse. Yeah. Victory is mine. We thank thee, Lord, that in thy mercy. Oh, the man. Empire of Man. The Empire. Yep. Um, what an army. Like, it is the like combined arms army. It's the army that you think of when you think, all right, how are you gonna win? Well, I'm gonna do a little bit of everything, and hopefully my opponent like has a phase that I can exploit, and then I'll kind of like really try and win on that phase. Okay. Um so they're the masters of this. Um, they have relatively cheap units, um, and they have good armor saves. Honestly, like they have core empire knights, which you can take, and those are you know three plus armor save knights. Uh, mm -hmm. Their weapon skill four, which is really nice. But otherwise, they're pretty inexpensive. They're twenty two points a model, um, which is really good for a unit like that. And they also have uh, uh, they have counter charge as well, I believe. Uh, they have counter charge or first charge. I guess I don't remember which one it is, but they have a they have a really good special, which is which is which is great for them for being so cheap. Anyway, um, the problem with Empire though is Empire's stats, like on a, as a whole, are very average. They're so just men. Like, they're just right. Men. They're just they're just dudes. They're just they're dudes just out here doing their thing, yeah. like um, trying to live their life and like stupid beast men and stupid <laughs> chaos keep coming in and breaking their breaking down their door and they're you know they're having to deal with it right yeah but it sucks because they're just dudes and these guys are like supernatural monstrosities and so you know they've they've got to do what they do so how can men just men have any <laughs> hope to win this battle danny um like i said combined arms dude okay. um, right. empire wins by uh, by doing exactly that, like either they force they force a bunch of different phases, and you probably won't be able to deal with all of them at the same time, and then they try and do everything to exploit that phase to win the game, right? Because hmm. um, no army can cover every single base, pretty much. Empire do it way better than anybody else. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, yeah. So, like, if if you're bad at combat, well, they've got knights. If you're Bad at, if you're if you're vulnerable to shooting stuff, well, they've got cannons and they've got mortars. If you're uh, uh, if you're vulnerable to blocks of infantry, well, they can bring blocks of infantry, no problem. Mm -hmm. um, uh, if you're, <laughs> I mean, like they have everything, so it's 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 amazing. All right, all right. Uh, hopefully, we see some great swords. Uh, that was a kit that I really uh, never oh, really yeah. saw in Eighth Edition. I did not put great swords on. Oh, really. Okay, all right. Fine. All right, so let's talk about. Let's, Let's talk do. about what their, their best units are. Oh, okay. Damn <laughs> grips. Yeah, oh. I picked the one. <laughs> um, so uh, I like demigriff knights a lot. They're very good. Um, they're why are they good? Why? What makes them just so like, they're the full plate knees. and barding? Um, yeah. full plate barding monstrous cavalry. So toughness four, three wounds, two up armor, which two is two up armor. Yeah, very good. And you can also have characters uh, mounted on demographs now. So, like, you can Ooh. take a captain on one, which is pretty neat. That's sexy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, monstrous cavalry. Uh, they're monstrous. And also, the mounts have crazy good AP. They're like yeah. uh, AP minus two with armor vein two. <clears throat> right. So, what, what do in this edition, what do monstrous mounts give us? Um, it doesn't really give you very much. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, there's no actual intrinsic rule other than the stats of the creature itself that it gives you. Um, it it gives you actually a negative rule called uh, called uh, it's clumsy. not lumbering. lumbering. It's like clumsy or something like that, basically, okay. um, yeah. where you can't join units that are monstrous cavalry or monstrous infantry unless you are monstrous infantry. But okay. That means that monstrous cav and monstrous infantry characters can join other units. That's fine. Okay. Interesting. So, so they're just like a just a big, hitty meat shield with a like like 
they have all like, the things to upset. Yeah, yeah, they, they can, hit really they good. They can fight like in like they have tons of endurance for a unit, like because yeah. the mounts have such good AP and that doesn't change. Like the mounts fight so well. Their weapons go four. Yeah. They've got three attacks. Like they they fight very well. The dudes on top are just there to give you your armor. And they have a great armor save. So yeah. they can just sit there and fight for turn on turn on turn. So all right. <clears throat> yep. They don't care if they get charged. As long as they can fight to the front, uh, they can win against most any other unit, pretty much. Yeah. They're... Especially if they get buffed from like a priest or something like that, um, which they can do, which you can do too. So, cannons. Okay. The humble cannon. Yeah. It's a cannon. Uh, it's a great cannon. So, it's the big version. So, it's like a D3 plus one damage. Um, what is the, what's the strength of a great cannon? Opposed to a dwarven cannon. Uh, I think it's. Eight I think it's like eight. I thought it eight. was. Hold on, I've got it. I've got it right here actually. <laughs> there you go. Enough. Um. Oh no, it's strength ten. I'm sorry. Strength yeah. ten. Yeah, strength ten minus three AP. Um, multiple wounds D three plus one, of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Sixty inch range, Dicky. Just That's in case you were worried about being out of range. On the way back corner. If I needed to hit the way back corner, I got it. Got it covered. <laughs> Perfect. So, All right, um, yep, it's piece. 125 points. Worth every point. And then it also has Grape Shot, which is strength four, uh, minus one with Armor Bane. Artillery Dice. Um, amount of, oh, no, it's just minus it, one. I'm sorry. Is yeah, it the template still, or the Artillery Dice? It's a, it's an Artillery Dice worth okay. of shots. That is cool. But it's auto hits. I like auto hits. Yeah. The humble archer. Archers. Really cheap unit. You can buy them scout. It's like 45 points a unit. It's, it's I, so cheap. Like, yeah. Uh, I, I probably will put, like, Bretonian has squires, and I put them in every Bretonian list because, yeah. like, little cheap units with bows that can, like, get stuck up in the middle of the table to, like, mess up your enemy's plans are uh, very good. Very, yep. very good. Um, magic items. Empire has a ton of magic items. Um, one of the ones I wanted to focus on was the Laurels of Victory. I think this one is really cool. Yep. So basically, the person that you give it to, every wound that they do counts double for combat resolution. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> so you can win combat by a lot uh, with that guy. Oh, that's uh, really good. Which is which is really cool. Yeah. Oh. Um. Hmm. I. Uh, I I have it in my army list. In fact, shockingly, Dicky, I have it in my army shockingly. List. I know you would uh, never suspect that is happening, but look, <laughs> I'm a man. Of, I'm not a man of mystery. So, just men they can use manly magic. What manly magic will they be using? So, Empire is weird. Like it's not like a strong magic is not a strong point for them necessarily, but they're not any weaker than any other race. Like they just don't have any benefits. They do get to choose between a bunch of different lores for their wizard. Um, yeah. uh, I think they get uh, three or four different lores. Um, they get battle magic. Uh, they get uh, elementalism. Um, they get illusion. Um, I'm trying to remember if they get. Oh yeah, no, they get demonology, dark magic, and necromancy. Um, so they get everything except for high magic. Nice. And uh yeah. And wa wa magic. I mean they that has to be a, a bonus, right? Being able to bring multiple wizards and uh, have multiple different sure. spellers. Yeah. Like they're they're relatively inexpensive. Like they're not the cheapest wizards. They're mm -hmm. you know, if you wanted to take a level two, it's ninety points. Um, but a level four at 160 is pretty standard for the different armies, and at least he's like toughness four, which is nice. Uh, you know, a lot of elf wizards still stay at toughness three. Interesting. So, um, yeah, uh, they have that, and then they have warrior priests, which is kind of like magic, um, but they just have leadership based abilities, so they just take a leadership test, and uh, you get to apply one of their prayers. They have both Warrior Priests of Ulrich and Sigmar in the book, which is oh, new. Ulrich okay. being like in the base book is really cool. I really mm -hmm. like that. I hope that they get like a Middenheim army list. That would be really, really That'd cool. Be super cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, they get and each of those has each one of them has a leadership test they can take, and they have three different effects. Um, so uh, I took a Warrior Priest of Ulrich, so we could talk about that real quick. Yeah. Um, he can do. Uh, one where I get to pick any one with 
someone within his command range, uh, and they get to get a plus D3 modifier um, to their charge results. So they get to charge plus D3 inches, which is really nice. That's really nice. Um, <clears throat> or any enemy model that directs their attacks against this model um, in combat has to reroll sixes to hit. Oh, so they get Mark of Nurgle, which is red, so, or so this one. Annoying. <clears throat> until the start of your next, until the start of your next start of turn, until uh, the next start of turn subphase, this model, its mount, and any unit is joined gains multiple wounds too. Oh, they hurt. <laughs> they hurt good. Yeah, pretty cool. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so that's part. That's part of my list here. Uh, so I'll talk about that unit a little bit. So. I have the High Priest of Ulrich joined yep. um, along with my Grandmaster to a 10-man Inner Circle Knights unit. Um, they have great weapons, full plate, full commit, and so there will only be a 3-plus armor save. Mm -hmm. um, what, is great, they, uh, what does Inner Circle give you these days? Uh, inner Circle basically means that they count as not core, no. um, but it gives you reroll ones to hit in combat <laughs> for the Seems unit, yep. uh, which is really cool to just have that built in. Um, yeah. The Grandmaster gives them immune to psychology. That's really good. Um, and uh, yeah, they're also strength four as, as opposed to normal strength is uh, three on knights. So, oh, and their leadership nine. I didn't see that before. And they're veterans, which is really nice. So since they're veterans, um, I can reroll the leadership test from my priest of Ulrich that joins them. Okay. Which is pretty cool. That is good. Being a veteran <laughs> to is make a good the prayer thing. go off, which is on a leadership eight test, so uh, that's pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, they're uh, they're they're a great unit. Um, they basically can grind out a lot of different units in the game because it's mm -hmm. a twelve strong unit of knights that have a three up save or two up save against shooting. Um, yeah, and uh, I also gave uh, the high priest. He's got the silver horn um, that lets me reroll one of my charge dice. Nice. And uh, I gave my Grandmaster the Sword of Justice, <laughs> yes. which is a suitably impressive sounding name, right? It's very, like, very I impressive. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, the Sword of Justice uh, gives him uh, multiple, he already has multiple wounds too. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's user, strength user, so strength four, minus one AP, armor bane one, and yeah. I get to re-roll two wound rolls with it. That's a big deal. And okay. so with Lords of Victory was... and doing multiple wounds, like against, for instance, like ogres or something like that, I could go in and kill like, you know, I'll kill like two ogres, right? Yeah. Let's say I, I do really well and I do that. That would count for 12 combat res. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Just him. Yeah. Or in a challenge, getting double combat res from that, like even my four attacks with multiple wounds with overkill, you know, I could do eight wounds in combat with him that way, um, and that would count for, you know, 16 wounds. That's a big deal. Yeah. Anyway. Mm, all right. That's pretty cool. Uh, I've got another captain on Demogriff, my battle standard. Um, uh, he's got a uh, full plate, shield, lance, just normal equipment. Uh, a level two wizard. Um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to give him. I think I'd probably give him battle magic just be, or elementalism just because I wasn't sure like what kind of role he, he'd be in. I just wanted to have a level two to help me dispel spells. I've been, I've been having a lot of trouble picking what, uh, what lore to pick with my wizard and my army list that we're going to see. And uh, yeah, I can understand like it's tough. Battle magic's really just kind of all comers. It feels like magic. It is. And, uh, but like, there's really cool options. Yeah, you can do a lot of different stuff with it, which is really nice. All right. Um, so as far as units go, uh, two by five Empire Knights with lances and musicians, um, they can kind of act as a fast, like a cow, like a fast cavalry role if I need them to, or if I need them to like block and run away or do something like that, and then the, the musicians help them rally. Mm -hmm. um, two by five archers with scout just to get in the way of stuff. Mm -hmm. 10, cro 10 handguns, 10 crossbows, and 10 halberds. The halberds are there just as a way for me to throw an extra little unit in the way of stuff. And they were pretty cheap. They're only 50 po uh, 60 points for that unit. And I couldn't buy another unit of missile troops. So I decided huh. to do that instead. All right. There's your big bed inner, uh, inner circle. Yep. Then I got a bunch of knights. I've got a cannon. I've got a mortar in case I want to kill a unit that has, you know, a big unit. 
-hmm. And then I've got four demographs to back up my captain. So there'll be five wide, which is pretty wide. That's about as wide as I would want a unit to be in this edition, I think. Yeah, because being uh, a monstrous cav, they only need to have three to be considered a rank, right? Yeah, yeah. but I don't really like for them. You just like, want all of them. for that rank is yeah. like 180 points. And yeah, yeah, I just I can't stomach that. <laughs> What's the rampage um, banner? Uh, rampaging banner do? They let some reroll charges. Seems pretty important. Yep. So you can see. Like both the the, the Nemigriffs and the Inner Circle Knights are geared up to be very fast, yep. um, so they'll they're very likely to make their charge um, with plus D three inches to um, either of the units that I need them to be from the High Priest of Ulrich with his prayer, mm -hmm. um, and then rerolling one of the dice on Swift Stride Movement Seven um, or rerolling all the charges on the Nemigriffs all the time. So it's got a couple of fast missiles to hold people up. Yeah, and it's got enough shooting to to kill off the screen of the for the yep. knights and for the demigriff, which is important. So yeah, I like it. What does a what does a mortar do these days? So it's a large blast template. Um, mm. Its uh, strength is uh, th I think it's strength three on the. Hold on, I got it right here. I know the middle is strength six. Oh no, it's yeah, that's right. It's strength two, but it's mm. minus two AP with armor bane one. Okay. Um, and then, uh, if you get under the middle of the hole, it's strength six minus three D three multiple wounds D three. Okay. So you can even try and shoot a dragon or something like that. And you probably wound it on a four. Yeah. If you hit, that's Mo not bad. Most things you're wounding on like five sixes. Yeah. Uh, fives or sixes. But if you get those wounds through against infantry, uh, well, yeah, for infantry wounding things on fives, um, and with the big with that many because it's yeah. large blast so you're probably going to get like 10 hit, 10 or so hits so you'll probably kill three or four dudes yep that's not bad not for bad. and they're pretty they're pretty cheap i think they're uh like 65 points that is cheap yeah so interesting anyway um huh. no they're 95 points so yeah but still i think it's i still think it's worth it even mm -hmm. against cavalry like if you can do wounds with that like against toughness three cavalry you're <laughs> yeah. making them save on fives maybe like half of them will be fives half of them will be sixes because of armor bane so yeah i don't know it just is a take on all comers list i was trying to make it pretty balanced um so it does a bunch of different stuff i didn't take the steam tank uh i still don't like spending i know I, as i say this with my giant freaking night unit i'm like yeah i don't like spending 265 <laughs> points on one unit <laughs> clearly that's not the case yeah, the steam uh, tank's tank a little different good. these days, right? It's not, yeah, it's not the same. It's yeah. uh, 265 points. Uh, it's got 10 toughness, seven wounds, which is yeah. not bad. Nope. Um, still unbreakable. Uh, it does impact hits and it does stomping. It does stomps. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, uh, it has stomps every turn and impact hits when it goes into combat. Um, but it doesn't get to keep doing impact hits. Okay. It just, yeah, anyway. Yeah. Um, but it has like a steam gun and a steam cannon. So it does it does a bunch of different stuff. I mean, it's 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 pretty cool. Um, I just don't know. I don't I just I just worry I always worry about taking a single model that costs so many points that only has D3 plus one strength six hits. And yeah, yeah. they're minus two. Um, but it it could get stuck with like a unit of ten dudes for a couple of turns, and that would be it's not shooting, it's not doing anything else, which yeah. is why I don't rate it super high. Um, yeah. You don't have to roll for it blowing up as much anymore. It's just when you move it is when you would ever have to take like steam power tests. Mm -hmm. So, all right, well, anyway. it's a cool. It's a cool list. It definitely oh, looks yeah. like an elite uh, list. So a little bit. It's a little bit elite. Yeah, <laughs> very cool. It's time to step into the grim darkness With nerds gather talking Warhammer madness Grim after dark, the podcast with the hosts John, Danny and Val, but they're not the most Claiming to be experts, but it's all a facade Talking about battles and dice rolls, they're all odd Trying to sound cool with their Warhammer talk But I'm here to expose, it's all just squawk Nerds, nerds, everywhere I see Talking Warhammer this, like it's a decree But let me tell you, homie, it is all just a game In the real world, homie we are not the same So put down the dice, step out of the dog It's time to live life, nerd, make your own mark Grim after 
dog, the nurse playground, talking war hammer this, acting all profound. But when I listen, it's all just a bunch of noise. I love roasting nerves and their stupid ass toys. <sighs> stupid ass toys, I wanna grab them. Put my hands around the neck, squeeze, squeeze, war hammer squeeze. Until they can't breathe or breathe again. <laughs> Tell a friend, tell a friend, I'm out here roasting nerds again. <laughs>